Hard work, faith, and success, and diligence can do wonders. Visionaries like Thomas Edison, Nicholas Hesler, and Howard Hughes dreamed of making the world a better place. And a young man known as Gatling Tommy might soon join their league currently. He's poured his creativity into crafting a foam, bullet-firing machine gun. This fierce weapon shoots 50 darts per second, with a max ammo capacity of 430 darts. The only battle plan with this gun is to stun the enemy with a hail of darts and take cover in just 9 seconds. Gatling Tommy admits, The main hiccup is the long reloading time. Each bullet has to be loaded into a cartridge case, formed into a ribbon and stowed in a special box. It seems like a fundamental issue, so becoming the next Browning or Kalashnikov might be difficult. Inspired by the horror flick Dead Space, Japanese toy weapons maker Tatsuka brings us a gun that shoots steel discs. It's pretty good at punching through thin plastic or wrecking a cucumber. Definitely a no-no around kids. The design doesn't come with automatic reloading, so you have to cock the gun every time. For those wary of the gun's danger, Tatsuka offers a safer option. The Colt 1911, loaded with rubber bands, won't harm your health and can barely knock a plastic cup off a tabletop. A rubber band won't fend off a space monster. But that creature sure wouldn't expect such cheekiness. When a guy rolls in with a structural channel, hydraulic cylinders, and a four-stroke engine to his garage, you can bet he won't be home for a good month. He's gearing up to build a loader. A popular YouTuber spilled all the beans on how he crafted a robust rival to Bobcast. First things first, he welded the frame and slapped it on. Wheels connected by a chain drive. Then he hooked up the gas engine and hydraulic motors to control the lifting gear. He kept the cab simple, just a plastic chair and levers on both sides. Over a year, the inventor put his loader through different tests, clearing snow, digging soil, hauling scrap metal. Everything worked like a charm, except for a hiccup with a Chinese carburetor. Looks like the folks at Bobcat might want to keep an eye on these dyers. Who knows how many budding welders they've already inspired to give it a shot. The Belgian FNP90 submachine gun may not be a military favorite, but gamers love it, thanks to Counter-Strike, making its futuristic look iconic. Having the real gun at home might be a legal no-go, but there's nothing stopping you from building your own replica with LEGO Technic. PDF instructions are up for grabs, and this plastic version shoots rubber bands, firing about 20 rounds per go. Swapping out an empty magazine for a fresh one takes less than 10 seconds. Just a heads up though, using strong rubber bands might wear out your Lego gun. Faster as the instructions. Create a warns. The model is made up of 1,359 parts, and you'll need to buy them yourself. The tutorial will set you back $27, and here's the first invention in today's lineup that's 100% useless. A self-propelled bed on 18 wheels isn't likely to come in handy for anyone. The project's creator raves about the soft suspension and high cross-country ability, but why bother when the traffic police are probably ask you to ditch this potentially risky contraption? The bed comes with a small table, complete with a toaster and an arming case you'd rather not lift your head off the pillow to reach for snacks. This kind of thing is made for one purpose, to whip up funny YouTube videos. Sometimes, though, the efforts can be a bit disheartening, with the reward being just to views. And both from the creator, but just on different accounts. We all remember that Marty McFly wasn't a fan of the year to 015. And back to the future, too. Despite the cool magnetic cushions, skateboards known as hoverboards. If Marty had seen this Chinese inventor's creation, it would have blown his mind. It's a massive thing with propellers, resembling a hybrid between a scooter, a skateboard, and the plastic helicopter from Hong Kong. It makes noise, kicks up dust, and slowly drags along the ground. The vehicle's supported by three wheels, two at the back and a caster wheel at the front. Instead of electronics, it's powered by 10 smartphones running off a shared battery. 
The creator happily shows off how his invention can hover above the grounds, but you need to pull it along with a rope. Wouldn't it make more sense to just use the smartphones for their intended purpose? Some folks find it tricky to handle a hammer and push up a picture, while others spend nights building their own helicopter. A group of young craftsmen from Hong Kong presented a cool project. They use the design of simple civilian drones as a starting point, figuring out the size, weight, and power for a single-seed aircraft. They printed the fuselage with eight 3D printers and had to manually glue and sand the parts. After that, they added for electric motors and connected to propellers to each. Tests revealed that the thrust was enough. Reversible takeoff with a slim pilot in the cockpit. Sadly, it won't be getting any flying certificates, but taking a spin with a friend on, it speeds a bicycle ride any day. If you're into late night walks from the bedrooms of the kitchen, you'll probably love this smart lead table. The simple touch brings a pleasant blue light to life. The tech trick here is so basic that even a kid can get it. The top layer of the table is carved with a pattern resembling a honeycomb. Those holes get filled with epoxy hiding the lead strips and sensors beneath. All the wires are neatly tucked away on the backside, covered with a solid piece of wood. After some sanding and varnishing, the table ends up being the star of the kitchen. It almost feels wrong to place sauces, cups and plates on such a beauty. Unlike Lego, Tesla doesn't sell its new products as construction kits. Still, that didn't stop a U.S. enthusiast from getting spare parts and crafting a roadster in his garage over three years. After modeling S on his computer, he welded a tubular frame and fitted electric motors on batteries. Connecting all the wires took the most time, as they seemed to stretch over a kilometer. The whole body was molded from plastic, cutting down on weight at first. The homemade car wouldn't pass for a factory model, but after a good polish, it became practically indistinguishable now. You can spot this homemade Tesla cruising the streets. One wonders what the police think when they check out the license of this unique vehicle. Comic-Con fans will definitely love this. Cyberpunk 2077 Katana, crafted by Japanese Dai, using makeshift materials. The toy sports a glowing blade made by combining an orange plastic piece with an LED strip. The intricate handle is secured with a bunch of bolts, and the colored wires and two battery packs are concealed under substantial body plates. The whole setup's decked out with a ring of light bulbs, emitting a red and green glow. The creator will probably flaunt the success at every geek event, until I hear Keanu Reeves say, you're breathtaking. In 1917, the French army adopted the Reno FT light tanks, the world's first combat vehicles with a rotating turret. They had a different layout compared to earlier models. Control levers at the front, engine at the rear, and the crew compartments in the middle. Modern models follow the same design. Surprisingly, in 2023, work began on a new Reno FTC, the project creator aims to use the tank in movies and TV shows that welded the armor, fitted the tracks, and installed the engine. But there's still plenty of finishing work ahead to make it look just like the original. Videos of the test runs are already out. Fancy a ride in the Reno FT with the sound of artillery no. Cambridge students are up to something really interesting. They're in the process of building a lunar rover. Although the project isn't finished, the initial results are quite impressive. They focused on enhancing cross-country ability, with each wheel mounted on a hydraulic rod. Adjusting the suspension height by nearly a meter, the rover can tackle depressions and rocks without a hitch. Moreover, it can extend in length. Thanks to a hydraulically powered sliding frame mechanism, the wheels are powered by four electric motors. How effective the rover will be in its natural habitat remains uncertain, but it surely handles well the on the pristine pavements of Cambridge. Remember the 3D printed helicopter that we showed at you? the beginning of the video? Well, it wouldn't get off the ground without the people putting together these princess. To start molding plastic figures at home, you'll need very little. Just 10 kilograms of aluminum 22 rivets. 
100 chips, and a power supply. At most, this homemade printer functions just like a store-bought one, meaning it's painfully slow. You could activate it from your smartphone in case you suddenly realize you'll need a dice in two days. Just find the model, send the task, and settle in for the wait. Farmers get more and more gadgets each year to make their work easier. Now there's a helling plow in the mix. The name says it all. It's for helling up potatoes. It was made by ADIY from a chainsaw and a trimmer. He kicked off by welding the frame. At the bottom, there's a wheel with wide blades, and at the top, the engine, all connected with a chain transmission. Steering's made possible thanks to a long, chopper-like handlebar. This plow's got some serious speed. In less than a minute, it's already sweeping through the ground to the last shrub in the row. Anyone who figures how out how to put this healing plow into mass production is bound to hit the jackpot. Becoming invisible seems simpler than what Ryder H.G. Wells had in mind. No need for syringes or serums. Just grab a big curved plexiglass and a wavy matte film. Skilled folks in the United States set out on this experiment after learning from you too that human vision can be tricked. In just a couple of weeks, they have their invisibility shield ready. The most time-consuming part was shaping the plexiglass, which had to be heated with heat guns and pressed. The finished shield stood a bit over a meter tall, with a transparent handle on the back. Of course, the guys will figure out what to do with their invention, but they could easily sell the passing to the police or the military.